Despite everything we know about our universe, beginning with fundamental particles, their properties and interactions, and how they unfold to create the cosmic story of which we are a part, there are still many mysteries. Here are four of the greatest unsolved mysteries about the universe, along with an explanation of how solving any one of them would be a spectacular breakthrough that would transform our understanding of existence. 1. How did the universe get started? Inflation theory predicts that, starting from a pre-existing state, a series of universes will emerge, each one completely disconnected from the others, and separated by more expanding space. One of them, where inflation ended, gave birth to our universe, 13.8 billion years ago, with our entire visible universe comprising only a minute fraction of the volume of that bubble. Quantum fluctuations that occur during inflation become density fluctuations when inflation ceases. This eventually leads to the large-scale structure of the universe, as well as the temperature fluctuations observed in the CMB. In addition, gravitational wave imperfections and fluctuations in angular momentum are produced, but the latter too diminish as the universe expands. The contribution of gravitational waves, left over from inflation, to the B-mode polarization of the cosmic microwave background has a known shape, but its amplitude depends on the particular inflation model. These B models from inflationary gravitational waves have not yet been detected, but their detection would be incredibly helpful in determining the precise type of inflation that occurred. 2. Why is our universe dominated by matter? El Gordo, the largest known colliding galaxy cluster in the observable universe, exhibits the same evidence of dark matter and normal matter as other colliding clusters. There is virtually no space for antimatter in this galaxy, or at the outskirts of any known galaxy or galaxy clusters, severely limiting its potential presence in our universe. Through the examination of clusters of colliding galaxies, we can determine the presence of antimatter based on the emissions at their interfaces, consistent with its origin from supermassive black holes and other high energy sources. These galaxies contain less than one part in 100,000 antimatter. There is no evidence that antimatter is abundant in the universe. The Big Bang creates matter, antimatter, and radiation, with slightly more matter created at some point, resulting in the universe as we know it today. How this asymmetry originated, or arose from a state in which there was no asymmetry to begin with, is still a mystery, but we can be certain that the preponderance of up and down quarks over their antimatter counterparts is what allowed protons and neutrons to form in the early universe. 3. What exactly is dark matter? A spiral galaxy, such as the Milky Way, rotates as depicted on the right rather than the left, indicating the presence of dark matter. All galaxies, galaxy clusters, and even the large-scale cosmic web require dark matter to have been cold and gravitating from the very beginning of the universe. The X-ray pink and overall matter blue maps of various clusters of colliding galaxies reveal a distinct separation between normal matter and gravitational effects constituting some of the strongest evidence for dark matter. There are two types of X-rays, soft or lower energy, and hard or higher energy. And galaxy collisions can produce temperatures exceeding several hundred thousand degrees. In a cold, warm, and hot dark matter universe, the dark matter structures that form, left, and the visible galactic structures that result, right, are shown from the top down. Based on our observations, at least 98% plus of dark matter must be either cold or warm. Observations of numerous different aspects of the cosmos on a variety of scales all indirectly point to the existence of dark matter. 4. What exactly is dark energy? All predicted destinies of the universe correspond to a universe in which the combined forces of matter and energy oppose the initial expansion rate. In our observable universe, a cosmic acceleration is caused by a previously unexplained type of dark energy. While normal and dark matter and radiation become less dense as the universe expands due to its increasing size, dark energy and the field energy during inflation are forms of energy intrinsic to space. As the expanding universe creates new space, the density of dark energy remains constant. Note that the individual quanta of radiation are not destroyed, but rather dilute, and redshift to progressively lower energies as space expands, elongating to longer wavelengths and lower energies. If dark energy is truly constant, as the data suggests, it will continue to follow the red curve, resulting in the long-term scenario frequently described on the eventual heat death of the universe. If dark energy evolves over time, a big rip or a big crunch are still admissible. But we have no proof that this evolution is more than an idle speculation. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. 
And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.